Hello everyone, sorry I haven't posted a video for a while. It's been sort of very busy in our house, God knows how, given that we're all in lockdown. Uh, and I'm sorry for the state of myself, post run, grotty hair, but I think we're all in the same state at the moment, aren't we? Um, anyway, I wanted to show you a recipe today that I've been making uh, at home with my children. It's really easy, um, anyone can do it. It's a flatbread recipe. So if you can't get bread in the supermarkets or you want something fresh or something a bit different, it's a really um, great recipe and super easy with very minimal ingredients. So here we go. So what you need is you need six tablespoons of flour. I've used plain white flour. I guess you could use any flour you wanted really. You need three tablespoons of plain yogurt. I've got a plain Greek yogurt here, but any old plain yogurt will do. One tablespoon of oil. I'm using olive oil, but I think you could, any vegetable oil will do. And then a pinch of salt. So, you know, just a normal tablespoon size and shove it all into a mixing bowl. So okay. you should then, once you've mixed it all together, you sort of knead it and you should have a dough like this one here. I've added a bit of extra oil actually, because mine was a bit dry. I think I was a bit generous on the flour. So completely up to you. If it's a bit dry, add a bit more oil. If it's a bit too loose, add a bit more flour. And then you divide this into three or four big blobs. So you take your blob like this, you put it on a um, dusted surface. So that's got some flour underneath it. And then I've rolled it out into with my big rolling pin into what I tried to make a circle, but <laughs> it's not really, it's not really a circle, is it? But any old shape will do as long as it fits in your frying pan. Um, and then get a frying pan that's of a similar size and, um, and dry fry it, which I'm gonna show you now. Here we go, we've got one in the frying pan here. You can see it goes all that sort of nice sort of mottled texture. And then I have some more finished over here on the plate and they are absolutely delicious. So you can have them with some hummus, you can have them with any dip you like. Um, you can put some meat inside, put some veggies. My son's just come down, he loves them. So he's gonna have a go already. Tell me Ben, good? Yay! So they're absolutely brilliant. Give them a go, super easy.